this episode of NSFW Show, we are joined by Tom Merritt of Tech News Today. We discuss the NSA. They know what you fab to. No, seriously, they do. It's not just a joke anymore. They're watching you currently while you're listening to this introduction. So knock it off. We mix up history with some hip hop fellows. Also, CNN, huh? It's all coming up on this edition of NSFW Show. Stay tuned. It's funny. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This This is Twit. Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 207, recorded on December 3rd, 2013. Taft Punk. This episode of NSFW Show is brought to you by Shutterstock.com. With over 1 million high-quality video clips, Shutterstock helps you take your creative projects to the next level. For 25% off your new account, go to Shutterstock.com and use offer code NSFW1213. And Squarespace, the all-in-one platform that makes it fast and easy to create your own professional website or online portfolio for a free two-week trial and 10% off. Go to Squarespace.com and use offer code NSFW12. And ProXPN. ProXPN is a virtual private network that allows you to use the internet the way it should be, anonymous and unfiltered. For 20% off your new account, go to ProXPN.com slash twit and use the code NSFW. SFW, the new show full of wind, the new sauce for the Webernets. Oh, beautiful party people, live from Los Angeles, California, inside a crappy hotel room. I'm Brian Brushwood, joined by the tech center of the universe, the center of all things internet, Petaluma, California. It's Justin Robert Rubles III. What is up, JRRR3? Yes, JRR3 is my new name, JR3. And I'm here to tell you that I've come from the future, and this episode sucks. Don't yes, listen to it. Thank goodness. See, normally, this is like the big twist. Normally, we have like this big sideways. You spend the whole show thinking it's building to something, and we're like, aha, the secret was it sucked the entire time. Yeah. But this time, we're doing it Inception style. It starts off, you're like, well, I know the show sucks, but then it goes back, and then you, you end with this vague feeling like, wait a minute. Was that show good the entire time? No. Because here's be. the deal, Brian. You think it might be good, right? Yeah. Because we have great talent on, not you or me, of course, but of course, of course not. the only personality that can be trusted on the internet to bring you the daily tech news, he is Tom Merritt, author of Lot Beta, an erudite gentleman all around. Well, hello, Justin and Brian. Thank you for inviting me into your homes tonight. Uh, oh, Tom Merritt, what a convenient twist that you and I are both in Los Angeles and yet in two different sides of the city they- because both of us are too lazy to go visit the other. <laughs> I know. Well, and if, what are we, like 12 miles away from each other? But it would yes, take an hour 30, to get from 30, one point to the years. other. Yeah, by car, sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, gentlemen, we've been gathered here today because Tom and Brian, you're getting married. What? Yes. I'm so excited. You're getting internet married. Hey, hold on. About dang time. Actually, hold on real quick. Would would Eileen be, I think Bonnie might be cool with me actually having like a, a quasi-religious ceremony to get married to you, Tom. Would would Eileen be cool with that? I, I, I can't imagine why not. Wait, let me make sure wait, she wait. brings me my pizza first. Would Would Justin be jealous if we were to get married? Jealous? I engineered it. All his, all of your their lives up to this moment has been me pulling the strings to get you here <laughs> to the altar. In fact, I'm not real. I hologram out. 
And that's what happens. There's the there's this is the first shark jumping moment of the NSFW show is me hologramming out and you guys getting married. Da -da -da -da, and we're done. It's the last episode. Huh. Uh, Wait. Well, it was a good run. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, guys, thanks um, for having me on it. Here's the deal, Brian. Um, you are in LA for no particular yes. reason, right? Correct. No, that's correct. That's uh, that's that's on all my documents. As we know, the TSA requires that you have a passport and your your stated reason. They're like, oh, you're going to Los Angeles, are you, Brian? I said yes, and they're like, and what's the reason? And I said, yeah, you know, just cause I hear it's sunny. Yeah, you know, I mean, a bro can go to L.A., right? Do you have yes. any fruit to declare? <laughs> it's uh, that's that's none of your business. I'm yeah. just I'm just a guy. Put him against the wall. He's got peaches <laughs> in his pockets. <laughs> uh. Tom, you are of course just cranking out all the amazing content that you do here for the for the Twit Network. Uh, I, you're busy, busy, busy doing that. Of course, promoting Lot Beta, your fan, your fantastic book. Uh, I don't know. Weird Ami said self promotion will come back to bite me, so now I'm afraid. Well, I'll tell you what. If that's the case, then I certainly don't want to let everybody know that right now. If you are watching live on Amazon.com, available on the Kindle stores, go home, Santa. You're drunk. My compilation oh. of short stories, and oh. we're trying to get it far up the Kindle charts. Okay, so here's what I want. I want it to chart here on the holiday that? charts. Because I bought that. Yeah. Well, then you helped it get to number 52 on the holiday <laughs> charts. All right. On the holiday charts. The holiday. And listen, it's the holiday season. A lot of people are buying it. A lot of buying holiday books. You know what books are buying more than mine? Second Chance Christmas. Mm -hmm. What was the first chance? Murder. <laughs> the murder of Christ our Lord. <laughs> <laughs> you screwed up the first Christmas. Bloody birthday. Uh, how about uh, Mischief and Mistletoe? What was the mischief? The murder of Christ <laughs> the our Lord. Of Christ our Lord. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, look, uh, hopefully... Or how about this? Number 44, the Christmas tin. What's in the Christmas tin, Brian? Ginger snaps. Okay, me. Really? Yeah. Are they poison? Uh-huh. Made from the ashes of Christ <laughs> our Lord, for whom was murdered this day. I thought it was his birthday. Listen, are you a religious scholar? Because I am. Have talked to a priest earlier today. This is a religious <laughs> collar. <laughs> and this is a religious holler. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> a disciple. Jesus in the house. What? Drop a beat. All right, so here's the deal. Everybody's been really, really busy. But I, I went into the archives uh, and I, I brought out some, some half- baked bits that we can we can just kick around all right i got a i got a really long list that goes to four <laughs> okay good so what do you got uh, hit us with the, with uh your least favorite of them let's start at the bottom because it, this is an inception yeah, episode yeah. we have to start started at the bottom now we're here how about this uh brian you remember a couple of months ago we uh we were talking about the nsa back when all that uh that snowden malarkey was uh, yeah. flooding the newspapers. I, be I believe we were the ones that postulated that, uh, as many religious scholars have put it, the NSA knows what you faff to. Well, that's what we thought the NSA should just call a press conference. Everybody was all hot and bothered about what they were doing, snooping on people. We thought that the NSA should come out and do a press conference and say, okay, who has questions? And the first person who raised their hand, uh, they should just say, Okay, uh, Jake Tapper from CNN, Blacks on Blondes. Go. <laughs> and you just you just reveal what you yes, know uh, they fat Andy to. Andy Crawley, Fox News, Gaping Anal, yes? Yes, exactly. So you just keep saying what, and then that'll quiet people down real quick. We're going to oh, be sure. like a bunch of church mice. You know, not say, they'd be like, hey, any questions? Yes, your teeth look white, sir. Thank you. <laughs> you know? Do you use yes. Crest or Colgate, sir? As it turns out, Brian, we are the greatest minds in news analysis that the I'll world has ever seen. 
We keep, we keep we keep coming up with what we think is the most ridiculous, stupid idea of all time, that no way could actually be the actual battle plan. Turns out the NSA is run pretty much like NSFW. In fact, I think we share the same N. I don't think that's a coincidence. So as it turns out, this comes out this week, the National Security Agency has been gathering records of online sexual activity and evidence of visits to pornographic websites as part of the proposed plan to harm the reputation of those whom the agency believes are radicalizing others through incendiary speeches. They had the folder. They could have done it. Exactly what we said. They had it in their hands, and yet they did nothing. Yeah, man. I, I just say we go ahead and make NSFW an official, like, um, you know, subdomain of the NSA. The National Security Fapping Web and Web Straight. Uh, I need you, a W word. You, you think we can get acquired? Uh, yeah, you know what? All these other big properties here in Silicon Valley, they're the ones that get bought out by big institutions. Look, let's make a bid. NSA, you want some experts? Clearly, we had the idea before you guys were willing to take it public. Why don't you just go ahead and buy us out? Go ahead and acquire us. We'll work for the feds, whatever. So what do you think we'd be willing to do? Like, what would be our uh, first day on the job? Yeah. We'll show up in a suit and <laughs> do a funny dance. I mean, look. But I'm we, we got to keep going takes. with the ideas. Because here's the thing. We came up with the NSA knows what you're fat to. It turns out that was true, right? So I yeah. figure we we could come up. What else does the NSA know that we could tell them to, to drop science on? Uh, well, I, I'll tell I you what. Like first thing. submit this evidence. NSFW, when you fold the F and the W, turns in to NSA. Wow. That's, I don't that's think that's real. Good. That's, that's definitely a grocery bag that you're holding up. <laughs> I don't Listen, think that's are you going to? Oh, how would you know, NSA? <laughs> <laughs> All right. First thing we do is we go in, we move into the cushiest office. We explain that we need it so we can be loud because we don't want to upset everyone in their cubicles. Why? Second of all, we, second of all we get Tomcat in. Uh, okay. We need to find a job for Tomcat. What can we get Tomcat doing? I'll tell you what. Let's actually just get uh, Jammer. If somebody can throw a Tomcat link just in in the chat realm there. Uh, Jammer B, let, let's get a little Tomcat music. I feel like that's going to keep all these juices kind of going, right? That's what we do. Okay, no, that's the first thing is we explain, look, our ideas don't come in a vacuum. No. <laughs> Hell no. I mean, unless they're like alone and really curious what it would be like with a vacuum. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but they, but it's Sanjay they Gupta come coming in a vacuum. <laughs> So, so the important thing is like we need we need Tomcat to come and like like per, he needs to get oh why don't we license his song Stop the Lies and Realize? How about and this one? Look at this. Day. Here we go. This is little Tomcat. I feel like we need to have this just in. Uh, we we need it somewhere. We need we need to we need to use it as the weapon. It it is. The weapon of oh, you truth. Know what we to do? Okay, first of all, that room that we occupy, we move out of it and move into an open cubicle because all of a sudden we don't care how loud we are. But no. the room we were in becomes this like mind control booth when you walk in and it's just Tom Cat's videos 24 hours a day, seven days a week until it gets terrorists to stop the lies and realize. This is oh. our whole thing. And also we can use it as an anti-drug thing because he's big on not juicing. See, I feel like this is a... All right, here, here's what happens. We pull in a couple of the bad guys... Right? Put him yeah. into the cat room. Cat box. Here we go. Like We, we call it litter box. The yeah, litter yeah, box. You, so, all right. Kitty. All right, Tom, Brian, we were all NSA cops. Do NSA, does NSA have cops? Agents. I think they're agents. <laughs> NSA agents. We find a bad guy, and then I say to you guys, let's toss him in the litter box. <laughs> That's right. And then, uh, and then at that point, you look over. these turds in the litter box. Next thing you know... Tom we put them in the litter box. What are they doing? Rubbing each other's thighs. Well, eventually, you stay in the litter box long enough, you begin to think of yourself as either Kite or uh, Meow. Yes. You, you believe you are one of his, his fabulous sidekicks. And then meanwhile, okay, just when everyone, they're about to break, right? But they're holding on because they're really hardened bad guys. False wall falls down. Tomcat's really there. They start crying. We've saved a school bus full of children that was going to get blown up. We are NSA cop heroes. All right. So next thing we got to do. All um, right. 
Now, can, can can we talk the NSA into hiring Alex Jones? Can we get him on full time and Pierce Morgan? We're going to need the two of them to be poli to decide our policies at all times. Well, you, yeah, Pierce Morgan can go on loan from GCHQ, who he's already an agent for. Uh, and yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if Alex doesn't have a folder a mile wide they can use to put get him to do whatever they want. Uh, let I got a lot of folders. Just to let you know, <laughs> I've got folders, Pierce. I got binders. I've got clipboards. Uh, okay, uh, uh, Alex, 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 you, you keep saying, Pe Alex, you keep saying. I've been to Office Staples, Pierce. Staples yeah, will I, open Alex. again at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Al I will buy double entry ledgers. I, 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 Alex, you, Two you keep entries. Saying, where the right, Alex, if you'll just show us the folders. The easy button. <laughs> I have one of those. It's a novelty button, Pierce. I hit the button. It says that was easy. Want to know what else what is easy? Using my credit card at Staples. Yes. Alex, Alex. Uh, I love Staples. I get rewards points, and they mail them in the form of gift cards to my house, Pierce. Uh Alex, this isn't like you. You normally don't promote individual uh I'm not promoting like anything. I love Staples as a chain of office supply stores because I write a lot. Now, Al Alex, they sell in tablets, including the Kindle Fire. <laughs> Alex, how, how much is the Kindle Fire right now at, at Staples? None of your goddamn business. <laughs> in America, so we give American products to Americans. Also, $100 with a $50 rebate. <laughs> Use promo code Pierce sent me. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, I figured we've got that in the bag. Let's go ahead and let the cat bag. Wait, we, we, wait, we got it. We got to have a place for Tay Allen. What does Tay Allen do? Oh, I'll tell you what Tay Allen does. Is she comes on this show next week. Wait a minute. Are you saying? Wait, are you talking about like some kind of big exclusive? Oh, uh, I'll tell you what. Next week on this show, Queen of the Trolls, Tay Allen. Joins us yet again. She has a brand new video to debut called Clean My Room. Yes. See? So there we go. Tay Allen coming up next week. Right now, we want to let you guys know. What you know. Tay what you do is Tay Allen, she's your debriefer. How As soon as, soon as you pull those guys out of the cat box, first thing they sit down with is Tay Allen. Hey, Tom, oh, I'm, I'm going to let you know something. I've seen Tay Allen. Those Ds are anything but brief. Oh. Oh! Ooh. Hey, hey, Justin, get off her D's. <laughs> D's nuts. Get off of D's briefs. All right. Uh, look, I shudder stock, we... Brian. I I shudder. I shudder when I think of these prices. So, now, okay, now, are you as worried about a collapse of the entire film? I don't understand. What you got? All the you know what George Lucas and Steven Spielberg projected a giant demise of film, and they said it was because some big blockbusters aren't going to make money. I don't believe it. I don't see the point why anybody bothers to make a film when you can make everything you want on Shutterstock.com. I can make a 10-hour masterpiece about anything you want, and I can do it entirely out of clips at Shutterstock.com. That's how many. You know how many clips they have? Uh, yeah, over 1 million. Here's yes. some facts. You know, 12 years a those? slave entirely compiled with Shutterstock clips. I believe it. And I'll tell you what, man. I believe that they went to Shutterstock.com and they wrote tragic images that will melt your heart and break your soul. And then they took all the clips, put it in their clip box, and then they arranged it, give or take, 12 years a slave. Whether it's for your website, we got those. All of us. Websites? Yeah. We got them. And we can't oh, shake no, you gotta, them. You I don't, don't care how many times you wash your hands, Brian. You have a website. And you yeah, need yeah. to take responsibility for it. Yeah, Real yeah, I, men don't leave their websites. We we all have websites, all right? You don't have to put that on Front Street like that, man. All right. And look, if I want it to look good, all right? It's like, yes, no matter what, it's going to be a website. So fine. I'll at least make it look as professional as I can using the high-quality, hand-selected, curated selections of stock photos that I Shutterstock How about this? A publication? Adver advertisement, as the British say? I, advertisement? Advertisement. advertisement. Uh, a, a video or any other type of project. They got clips in a variety of digital formats. Most of them come in HD. You want to know what HD stands for, Brian? Huge devaluation. Huge Digimons. That's what it stands for, and these things come in them. 
just like the vacuum. Shutterstock sources video clips from all around the world, then puts them at your fingertips. Many contributors to Shutterstock are professional filmmakers and animators. Shutterstock gives you the assets you need to bring your creative projects to the next level. Stop languishing on the level that you're on right now. You're going to die there if you don't make a move. Make a move right now. Go to Shutterstock.com. We don't want you to uh, start crying again like you did in preschool. Shutterstock has flexible pricing. You can choose between individual clips or video packs. Download clips in huge Digimon. Or you can save with standard definition web formats. Tell you what, I just saw some videos. Jammer B's playing, if you're listening to the audio version. Jammer B played some hella Hanukkah imagery. Just go Hella ahead, Hanukkah. dial up, dial up Hanukkah H. real quick. I want to see some awesome Hanukkah stuff right now. Oh, look, that's a Dude. wise dog. What the <laughs> hell? How wise is that dog right now? <laughs> Dude, that dog's amazing. He's about to drop some science on your face. That dog is about to rap. <laughs> Hanukkah, that's Hanukkah. Come light the menorah. We'll go to Shutterstock and download clips in HD. As the old song goes, no credit card needed. Just start up. An account, begin using Shutterstock to help imagine what your next project could be like and to save your video selections you find in your clip box. Oh, do us a favor, though. Let Shutterstock know that. Yeah, uh, here's, here's what you do. Once you want to go, we're all going to go buy that wise-ass dog, man. That thing was amazing. <laughs> and when you decide to purchase the wise-ass dog, you can use your offer code, NSFW1213. That is NSFW1213. New accounts receive 25% off any package. That's Shutterstock.com. And for 25% off new accounts, use offer code NSFW1213. I'd vote for that dog for president. That's for real. <laughs> that is for real. I think you'd be a wise-ass leading president. Look, Justin, you made reference to the fact that you had not one half-baked idea, but as many as four of them. If it's anything near as good as the idea of us being acquired by the NSA, then I can't wait to hear what you got next. What do you got? I read books. Okay. All right. You write books. Don't, don't you have write, to read a I book write books? Write a book? You got to write. You got to read them if you want to write them. That's what I saw on a bumper sticker once for Brian south of the border. Boss, Brian. Brian looks Brian obviously doesn't do a lot of maker stuff. You just you, you want to read something, you got to know how it's made. You got to get in there. Yeah. I, I watch how it's made. Y'all ever see how it's made? <laughs> so here's the deal. I've been reading this book. It's by uh you ever hear this fly ass honey Doris Kearns Goodwin? <laughs> <laughs> Man, oh, what? Oh, what? Hold on, hold on, real quick. <laughs> uh, uh, over under on this being the first time that phrase has ever been spoken. <laughs> no. Repeat it again. Uh. Yo, peep this. I'm gonna tell you about a fly ass honey named Doris Kearns Goodwin. Boo writes hella books, and her latest oh, yeah. one is about Teddy Roosevelt, William Howard Taft. Is his middle name Howard? I think it's Howard. It's H, for sure. And yeah. the golden age of journalism. So I'm about, I would say, charitably 5% into this book, right? And all okay. I know at this point, which is, but I, I generally had an idea that Teddy Roosevelt, extraordinary, maybe the most popular president of all time, he had was very good friends with William Howard Taft. Uh, William Howard Taft became the president afterward because Teddy Roosevelt campaigned for him. And then they had a falling out, a real big parting of the ways, bit of a rival between the two of them, right? Okay. So I'm listening where, to this. Where is this headed? I, I, real quick, Justin, in case you've forgotten, uh, you're on the NSFW show. and Buck a uh, show. It's all we ask. See, here's... <laughs> Brian, if this was a boomerang, this, this is the farthest point. We're about okay. to come back. We're Let's right about to come back. back. Like that wise-ass dog just staring right into the camera. So just here we go. Like <laughs> that dog. I swear to God, that dog has either A, already been president, or B, already murdered somebody that day. Or is the CEO of a major multinational corporation. God, I want to believe so many copies of that dog just got bought and that Shutterstock. I'm so sorry, let's go, go back. Here we go. Teddy Roosevelt and William Taft. One of them, uh, an amazing personality, a bombastic electric presence. He captivated the nation. The other one, maybe a little bit underrated, known mostly for being fat. 
All of a sudden, <laughs> they come at odds, and now they're rivals. They're the Tupac and Biggie of presidents. Well, one one big year than the other, but yes. One's yeah. fat. Imagine the other one has an abdomen tattoo that says Thug Life. <laughs> Well, so okay, and so and so, what does this have to do with us at NSFW? I feel like we need to we need to tag every historical figure with this. We Wait, need to come up. Like, like, here's you ever read those fact Cleopatra? twitters, like those like OMG fact twitters? All right, feel NSFW like we just need facts? to be dropping these little knowledge nuggets onto Twitter for the next 17 years. <clears throat> we just need to come up with them right now. So let's say uh, Edison. What was Edison? In the modern, in like, in a modern metaphorical context, uh, he was like, it was like uh, Steve Jobs, right? He just went around telling other people to invent crap and then getting rich off of it. Wrong, Master P. Oh, sorry. Wait, wait is that what Master P did? Make I thought that was say, more like. Uh. I, th I thought that was more like a like a like a a, a, a P Diddy thing where he just like uh, what was it? You want to know what? You're right. There we go. See, that's we're rolling. See? Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. Just I see. Playing other people's bah, stuff, taking bah, credit for bah, it. Bah, 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 bah. See? We're, we're rolling there. Okay, so someone were writing these down. Thomas Edison is Sean Puffy Combs. Yes. All right. And then uh and where where's who's Nikolai Tesla? Nikolai Tesla? I believe Bushwick Bill from the Ghetto Boys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, so you're saying like Bushwick Bill is, is uh, died penniless and insane, and in love with a pigeon. In, all right. Uh, wow. You know what? I'm not going to touch that. I think you nailed it. That's exactly right. <laughs> then here we go. Rappers, rapper allegories to historical figures, printing money. All right. Let's. Uh, well, let's let's keep going. What, what about tech luminaries? What, well, here, what, let's go. Chat room. You got to help us out here. Okay, we need we uh, need historical figures. Yeah, Steve. I, Steve I, I'd like to throw out James K. Polk, Napoleon of the Stump. Oh, to get us get us going here. Lil Romeo. Yeah, one term and out. <laughs> uh, now, now, do we feel like each one has to be like polar? You got to have your two sides of every story because that's the thing. Is it all? I don't down care to, if they're Polish. The end of the day, they can have Polish it, people it's, too. Sure. Because all right, you what know, about here's what here's what I'm thinking for James K. Polk. Lil Wayne. Oh. Reinvented easy. the game. Yeah. That's good. Uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, let's see. We got, oh, Thomas Paine. <laughs> uh, Thomas Paine, that's easy enough. T-Pain, right? Right. Oh, um, see, easy. I was thinking House of Pain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, that one, that one probably would be more appropriate. I could see that. <laughs> can we get, can we get jump, here, hold on. Uh, can we get, the instrumental for jump around plan, and I'm, and let's read a Thomas Paine thing. Yeah, you, you're gonna dig up some Thomas Paine and read it. Some over common jump sense, Bry. Common All right. sense. Oh, okay. So uh, for those of you guys paying attention right now, Jammer B is on the case. He's finding a uh, instrumental version of House of Pain's Jump Around, and Justin, to prove his point, is going to read the lyrics Thomas Paine wrote centuries ago in Common Sense. Meanwhile. Tom Merritt is going to do his impression of that wise-ass dog the entire time. In the following pages, I offer nothing more than simple facts, plain arguments, and common sense. And I have no other preliminaries to settle with the reader. That he will divest himself of prejudice and prepossession and suffer his reason and his feelings to determine for themselves that he will put on, or rather, that he will not put off the true character of a man and generously enlarge his views beyond the present day. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> That's like, there's things that you say just because you want to fill dead air, and then they come to life, and you're just like, how did this, the muse, the muses, they sing through me. It's clearly, I didn't do anything. You're channeling here. something other, yeah. Here, people are saying Taft Punk. He's <laughs> the dog. A <laughs> wise-ass dog, look at that thing. <laughs> the sun never shined on a cause of greater worth. Tis not the affair of a city, a county, a province, a kingdom, but of a continent. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, All right, here we 
we go. Taft, uh, let, let's, let, let me pull up a William Taft speech. <laughs> oh, you're, you're going to play some Taft punk. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is this is amazing. Uh, I'm sure right now Tom Merritt is racing to put on some form of helmet so that he can, looking like a member of Daft Punk, turn slowly like the wise ass dog, <laughs> as <laughs> as uh, Justin Robert Young is going to read some of the writings of uh, of Howard Taft to the tune of what we can only assume is an instrumental song from Daft Punk. Yeah, to bring us Taft Punk. We are living in an age in which, by exaggeration of the defects of our present condition, by false charges and responsibility for it against individuals and classes, by holding up to the feverish imagination of the less fortunate and the discontented the possibilities of a millennium, a condition of popular unrest has been produced. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Taft Punk. <laughs> it apparently doesn't take much for us, Justin. I feel like we need one more. I, we need the chat realm one more time. And not the Taft Punk song one more time. <laughs> My favorite Taft uh, Punk song. All right, so we just need we just need one oh, more. Oh, easy! No, one we, more we need we need we need presents because we need speeches. Somebody su uh, is suggesting uh, Easy Edison, an Easy E <laughs> uh, Edison crossover. Um, come Mary on! Mary had a little lamb is what Edison uh, read into the first record album for <laughs> that he recorded. Someone just said, "Oh." Edgar Allan Poe. Bell Biv DePoe. Yes. <laughs> Edgar Allan Poe, Bell Biv DeVoe. Bell Biv so DePoe. <laughs> if we can, Jammer B, I'm going to need you to find an instrumental version of Poison. And Justin Robert Young. I'm going to read The Cask of Amontillado. <laughs> <laughs> and, and right now, looking as creepily dour and sad as possible. It will be Tom Merritt doing his impression of a Edgar Allan Poe take on the wise ass dog. <laughs> All right, so we are just we're getting everything set here again. This is Bell Biv De Poe. Mm -hmm. What about Barack Lobster? <laughs> Baby dance full of fact. The thousand injuries of Fortunato. I had born as I best could, but when he ventured upon insult, I vowed revenge. You, who so well known the nature of my soul, will not suppose, however, that gave utterance to a threat. At length, I would be avenged. This was a point definitely settled. But the very definitiveness with which it would be resolved precluded the idea of risk. I must not only punish, but punish with impunity. A wrong is unredressed when retribution overtakes its redresser. It is equally unredressed when the avenger fails to make himself felt as so him who has done the wrong. Pa 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 pa, Poison. Poison. That was, that was amazing. That's uh. Wow, I feel like we got to take a break. <laughs> I want to just look at the wise-ass dog for a little bit. <laughs> I think we all could use a look at the wise-ass dog right now. Uh, all right. Yes, there he is. You know where that'd be great, Brian? Hmm. You could put that wise-ass dog on, on, your, on your website. Well, yeah, yeah, sure, because you get the rights to it. I can tell you I'm a, I'm a very happy customer of Squarespace. You know what? Here's the thing. We, uh, I've used Squarespace as my main website for, what, four years now, and I've been yeah. thrilled. Everything about them has been fantastic. Um, unfortunately, they launched their their consumer or their their uh, storefront platform after I had already set up Scam Stuff, or I would have done that on, on Squarespace. But you got to essentially live the promise that we give on Squarespace all the time. You went, had a, a website created, looked fantastic. You opened up a storefront. You were able to accept credit cards. Yep. And you were able to do it like in a matter of, of hours, literal hours. Yeah, Go Home Santa right now. GoHomeSanta.com is, is all Squarespace. I set it up, I, the initial site, in about 30 minutes. Uh, I then used their, uh, their 
platform for selling the uh, selling the book. I don't have to worry about bandwidth and stuff if, if it's really popular, uh, which it is because it's awesome. It's Let's the, be fair. It's the number. I mean, look, it is the number fifty-eight most popular. Fifty-two. Book. Hold 52 on. It's the fifty-second most popular book. Here's the deal. You can go right now to Squarespace and you can make sure that um, you get a website that you deserve, okay? Because it was super easy to make. Here are the reasons why I did it. And no particular reason, completely improvised off the top of my head. They're constantly improving their platform with new features, new designs, and even better support. How about beautiful designs, easy to use, inexpensive, starting at just $8 a month. I ain't breaking the bank here. I was able to make back... All the money I spent on Go Home Santa You're Drunk, including the score for the audiobook, the uh, website itself, and the image uh, on the cover by Carter Johnson, daughter of Scott. Uh, and Squarespace was the least of my expenditures because it is economical and absolutely indispensable. At least it was for me. Mobile ready. Their code is, is beautiful. Search engine optimized, hosting included. Well, how about this? You want a free two-week trial with no credit card required? Start building your website? Well, then stop being a psychopath and head on down to Squarespace. When you decide to sign up, you can use the offer code NSFW12. You get 10% off. And you share your support of this show. Not another yeah, show. Look, they noticed. This look, show. I, I, Squarespace was the first to figure out that there's magic in, in them old dirty socks called NSFW. And uh, we want to continue to have magic of dirty socks. So NSFW 12, what's that going to get you, man? 10% off, man. Yeah. Like, let's say Plus you take 100%, take 10%, throw it away. Get it out of here. Right on. You ain't got to deal with it. We thank Squarespace for their support of NSFW, and I love them. Seriously. I do. I do, Call too. Me. Squarespace. You know what? They I'm will. They will. That's how dedicated they are. The servers don't go down, thing. man. They don't. Nope. I don't care what. Not even in a hurricane. Not in a, even in, in a mega cane. Nope. Not even in a Herman cane. I am America. Uh, listen, we saw Nixon's with attitude up there. <laughs> No. Uh, I don't know whether do we want to keep going with this or do you want to? No, uh, we we, we got to keep going. We got to keep on going. This, maybe th this bit writes itself forever. It's like you just need three elements. <laughs> All you need is is a historical figure, a modern parallel in the rap world or hip hop, and uh, Tom Merritt turning slowly, resembling an awesome, awesome piece of stock footage from Shutterstock. People are saying Mark T. Twain. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, we maybe in, maybe in the after show. Maybe in the after show, we'll, we'll do something like that. But let's, uh, I got some more. We're two for two, Brian, on these half-baked ideas. Oh, no, they're both terrible ideas, and they were utter failures. So let's go for a perfect trifecta of loss. CNN, you ever heard of it? DJ Jazzy Jefferson, just throwing that out there. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you ever heard of CNN? Yeah, no, uh, you know, I, I went out there. I feel like maybe I went on a tour of CNN with you like yeah. a month and a half ago, which is weird that you would ask me if I've heard of it, but sure, yeah. Uh, it doesn't stand for Kakamimi Niddles Net. <laughs> Are you sure about yeah. that? Because we went on the tour, and I feel like they they said, and here's the original name of it, and I we were like, whoa, Kakamimi yeah. Niddles Net. Yeah, I think that's how they got the initials, and then they retconned it yeah. later mm -hmm. on. So a lot of people think that, but it's not true. Stands for Cable News Network. No, why would it stand for that? They don't do any news. But see, that's the thing, is uh, the CNN not doing so well in the ratings. They're getting their old yeah. fanny punched. <laughs> the, the old fanny punch. Yeah. CNN, the means a fanny UK punching people. network. Uh, Ice Cuban Missile Crisis. We are... Uh... <laughs> oh, we've gone to events now. Have we? Here's the deal. CNN getting a real punch to the butt when it comes to the ratings. They need to, They need some new ideas. They got a new boss called Jeff Zucker. Okay? Took over yeah. about a year ago. He's uh, going to change some things around here. He says he's going to take news, phase it out. He's going to make CNN a little bit more like other channels on cable he says he wants to draw audience away from discovery 
A&E and Nat Geo. So the first thing they're going to do is manufacture a story about a megalodon in South America. And uh, that way they can they can have whatever credibility CNN had be thrown out the window. Well, listen, I mean, I think we, we, it, obviously I read this article and the first thing I thought of is we need to give them ideas. Oh, to, to, to do that? Because um, we need to take, listen, they got all this talent under contract, right? All right, no, no, okay, no, no, this is great. Uh, first first thing they're going to do is they're going to make a show called Junk Reporters, where they take uh, two guys and, uh, you know, who are maybe maybe straight out of TMZ or, or whoever TMZ is up against, and they take them to a junkyard and they say, we need you to manufacture a scandalous blog about Paris Hilton. And then they, but they can only do it with stuff they find in the junkyard. Yeah. And uh, they have 30 minutes and, um, uh, uh, it's it's hosted by the nerdist Chris Hardwick. What do you think? <laughs> I love it. I love it. How about this one? Ping ponging, ping ponging ideas. Don't trust Wolf Blitzer. <laughs> in which Wolf Blitzer will tell two true stories, but he'll sneak in. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll made up, and at the end he'll say like, "Did you catch our fake story?" But I'm he's Wolf so Blitzer, charming. He'll tell you next week. You don't and even realize, up. and then next thing you know. You've actually reported the false story. All right. And you Tom, didn't realize it. Real quick, tell me what you think of this. Uh, we go ahead and we take the situation room and we replace Wolf Blitzer with an actual wolf that, uh, <laughs> that's doing the wise ass dog thing. <laughs> I think it'd be a big improvement. <laughs> dog to give me news i mean that's all i want right i mean i would just say if there's and god forbid a national tragedy that killed thousands i would want that dog to tell me about it i would feel okay i'm thinking you're right first of all <laughs> i'm also thinking christine rama romance how do you say her name uh, Bad like Romance that. by Lady Gaga, <laughs> or maybe, or maybe Susan Candiotti. Actually, I think Susan Candiotti for this. Oh yeah, Safe House Hunters. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's it. It's good. That's good. Uh, wh why don't we? Why don't we do something called? Um, uh, we can have a show called Undercover Exposed, where all they do is they find undercover U.S. agents. And they expose them as being undercover, but like hopefully, like right there in the middle of whatever operations they're doing. Like, what a twist, right? They're all like, "I'm the terrible gangster thug," like all these other gangsters do. <laughs> or are you? I don't think your wife and kids in Minnesota would say so. And then they're like, "Ha ha! You just got busted." I love then, that. Uh, I love that. Then they run away as he gets shot. All right, how about uh, this one? That, you know what that makes me think of? Christian Amanpour as the host of. I'm an actual journalist. Get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how about this? Here's the deal. You get a veteran political reporter, you load her up with booze, and then you put her on a tiny bush plane flying between different places in Alaska. Flying Wild Candy Crowley, Alaska. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I, it makes sense. Uh, man. I feel like I feel like there should be one where they use okay, here's what we do. Sanjay Gupta, under his administrations, uh he he administers drugs to the legal limit because he's a doctor, he can prescribe them to other journalists, and it's called uh no, seriously, now that you're high, tell me. And he just asks <laughs> some questions. Uh yeah, it's called it doesn't count when you're high. Title. Okay, seriously, now that you're high. Tell me, tell me, I'm Sanjay Gupta. I'm a doctor. Yeah. But, I mean, well, okay. that's that's the full name, obviously. That's but once, like, once we get to season two, the marketing name is going to be much shorter. I, I, you know, speaking of which, uh, Sanjay, Dr. Sanjay Gupta, welcome to 1998. Am I right? Look, from now on, he's got to be LL Sanjay. And then, uh, and and behind him, as he reports medical news, needs to be like, uh, like Today Show style, like people gawking. And holding up, you know, advertisements. How about this? Former Speaker of the House, current Crossfire host, hangs out with all his old friends down in the bayou, Newt Dynasty. <laughs> 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 
Sounds great, right. man. I've, I've got one more for you. Okay. Jessica Yellen in extreme serious political beat correspondent who's never <laughs> taken seriously makeover. <laughs> I feel like we're rolling. All right, one more idea. Just going to throw it out here. We'll do this novelty program. It'll happen once a week. It'll be called The Actual Freaking News. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, Brian, that's that's funny. great. That's the most outrageous joke we've had here on this comedy program. <laughs> Hi, All right, one more. Taste. One more. You have the other host of Crossfire, right? Former Democratic operative. He goes around New York City asking people trivia questions when he picks people up in his vehicle. Cash van. <laughs> Wait, cash van? All right, all right. Cash van uh, Jones. <laughs> cash van Jones. Someone's going like to laugh at that. And I don't know who it is, <laughs> but somebody just spit up their Earl Grey tea in a very erudite manner and then continued to put on Rashomon. <laughs> Uh, man, this this is like Ari uh, whoever Ramos you're selling this bit and the to, rest it's not of the me. CNN meteorological team with the Weather Channel. <laughs> I got nothing. Weird advice is Glenn Beck will laugh at it. Well, thank you, Glenn, for laughing. I'll tell uh, you what, man. In no like uh, that ain't no. I'm shocked that that's their decision. Like in a world where the news, where the le legit news has been polarized into the ridiculous. Uh, far right Fox News and the ri ridiculous far left uh, MSNBC. Like you would think, CNN is perfectly positioned to be, you know, the ones that tell the actual news. But then their stated decision of like, let's stop doing the news. Well, the problem Let is down. they've been trying to do that and it's been failing. So well, but they, they want to protect their phony baloney jobs. Well, listen, they've been doing it as best. And this is everybody always says, oh, they should just do the news. Television news sucks. And it's always sucked and it always will suck. Anybody who pretends that television news was ever good is lying to you and everybody you know. They're doing Dude, their Frost, best. They're not great. Frost Nixon. Frost Nixon. All you need to do is hold hold the, the cops accountable. I mean, it's like, look. Like, and, oh, and, and Frost this is Nixon, because... where they paid the subject to sit down. They uh, so they so they violated that tenet of journalism in terms of paying uh, for the news. They sat down and they ambushed the the former president. They made news, yes, but it was an entertainment reporter that didn't did it. David Frost was not a hard news journalist. That's amazing. <laughs> there he is. That's that's Nixon. Nixon's with attitude. Straight I out of your Belinda. <laughs> MC Ren, Nixon, uh, Yella. Uh, but Listen, by he the was way, the governor of Compton. To have any kind of sensible head about this, because. Are you, are you there? I, I don't know. If yes. I no, 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 no. Sorry. Go ahead. Brian, Brian, we're here. Oh, okay. All right. No, I, w I was just going to say, like, it, it's it's hard to, because uh, Dan Carlin did a whole uh, common sense, like, two episodes about this, talking about exactly this issue about the 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 disastrous straits that CNN are in. If, if you're not listening to common sense, then you really should. I got, I got Tom hooked on the junk, and Love so uh, you should, too. Don't always agree with Dan, but that's not the point. Right. That's why you live. Right. Yeah. No, I mean, listen. I, so here's their issue. Their issue is that their highest rated program now is the Anthony Bourdain show that they have. So now they're wow. saying, well, hey, listen, like you go where people want you to go. People want us to go with celebrity chef grousing at foreigners. So and see, that's always been that's always been the TV way of doing things is like they discover that, oh, wait a minute. The niche that we carved out gets higher ratings if we go outside the niche. MTV is the. A classic example of that, right? So eventually, if every network followed that, you'd just have all the networks doing the same kind of programming. Like reality television shows that focus on people that are kind of well-known and then follow them around in contrived situations? Or maybe, how about this? Uh, a pawn shop. Hold on, a storage company. Wait a minute, we're fixing up your locale, be it a house or bar or residence. Uh, I, I I don't know what the conflict is. Alaska. I, uh, <clears throat> okay, okay. By the way, I'm not going to say when or where, but I was in a television pitch meeting, and uh, you were you, you, Justin. When I walked in, was like, uh, "Look, all these guys know is how to follow whatever else is is more popular." And it was less than five minutes into <laughs> it as we talk about what kind of magic related programming I wanted to pitch. Less than five minutes into it, they're like. Yeah, I just wish there was a way to make it like big, like 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 Alaska, you know. <laughs> and, 
<laughs> I said at the extreme. end of whatever you pitch, just say, and Alaska. <laughs> yes. No, it was it was amazing. Yeah. Uh, all right. Look, uh, uh, I feel like we're batting a thousand here. We fixed CNN. We uh, we fixed history. Uh, we did our best to fix the murder of Christ our Lord and Savior. Uh, I mean, what, what, what else is there? Uh, well, I'll tell you what uh, what is there. Um, we talked earlier about the uh, here at that uh, that NSA. Yeah, they know what you have to. They do. You want to stop them? Yeah. Well, I, sure. I, I I mean I do. A I, bit. I, you know I mean I. I do want you, them to do their job is do you, what I want. Do you want to radicalize in peace? I do. I'm, I'm sorry? I want to radicalize like, everybody I know. And I don't want them getting all up in my junk, finding out that I do prefer uh, a certain... I'm not even going to say. I can't think of something <laughs> funny to say that's not horrifyingly <laughs> terrible. <laughs> that's why I... And that's the point. I don't got to tell you. Because I got ProXPN. You go to ProXPN.com slash twit, you can have it too. Here they are. Global VPN. That's globe, baby. All around it. Yeah, In dude. It. I'll tell you what. Are it's you like, a mole like, man? I'll tell get you on ProXPN. No, get this, right? ProXPN, hear me out. This crap's a TARDIS. Because you go in, it's bigger on the inside. You install a little program, you go in, the whole internet's on the inside, only it's a magical version of the internet where nobody knows who you are or what you're up to or where you're going. Don't track none of that business. They only keep records for seven days. You're worried about six strikes laws? Don't worry about it. Get inside the TARDIS and go wherever you want on the internet. You're in some w terrible hellhole, waste of space that doesn't deserve to exist on planet Earth because you don't have Netflix? Guess what? Like inside Iowa? Yeah, get inside your TARDIS and pop out, oh, no, governor, I'm here in America because this is how Americans speak. And then, boom, it, it, you're watching you're watching Netflix. I don't know. I hear there's a certain Sherlock Holmes story going to be coming out, like, next month, theoretically. And, boy, it sure would suck to be in America where you can't play the iPlayer and watch the BBC programming. Wouldn't it be great if you could teleport just for a little bit to England watch some BBC programming, and then teleport back home. I'm just saying, that would be awesome. It would be awesome. It's an awesome you can have in your life for just a small a pittance. That, that's the amount of money I, you have I, to pay. pay I, I, would pay, I, would pay a, I would pay $260 per month for this privilege. You want to know what? We're going to keep that thought in your mind because I'm going to tell you everything you get for that money. Complete online privacy through a 512-bit encryption tunnel. Works via OpenVPN or PPTP. You choose. How about this? Bypass geographical restrictions for internet content, like Brian said. ProXPN makes your internet connection region-free. Software for Windows and Mac. World-class customer support. Steve Gibson started crying when he talked about it. He thought it was beautiful. That's probably not true, but he gave it a good review. ProXPN.com slash Twitter for more information to sign up. ProXPN premium accounts. Brian, what did you say you were going to pay for it? Uh, oh, $260. I mean, look, I just paid that, that for my tethering on my stupid iPad, So, and this is worth more, so clearly I would pay $260 a month. Tell me you got a promo code. Maybe you can knock it down to like $199 per How month. How about this? Do you want to know what? Take it $199, punch it right in the butt. We're okay. not even dealing with it. Okay, $995 a month. Normally, $995 a month, $74.95 for the entire year. But even that, that figure disgusts me. Eh. That's what I say to that. Okay, you you roll with us. You're in our gang, huh? Familia, <laughs> NSFW. <laughs> you use the code NSFW. You'll receive twenty percent off the lifetime of your account. That's less than five bucks a month on the yearly plan. If you're not satisfied, hey, come tell me. I take care of it. Okay, seven no. days. You get wait, a full are, refund. Wait, uh, explain this to me, Justin. Are you saying that what I just paid for my stupid tethering bill would buy me four and a half years of Pro XPN, a magical TARDIS that would take me to any time and place that I wanted to, and I would be benefiting NSFW show by using promo code? What's the promo code? Uh, ProXPN.com slash twit with the code NSFW. Uh, you have made a very compelling argument, sir, and I will have to rely on the amazing American Snow Dog to give a proper <laughs> response. We thank ProXPN for their support of NSFW, and may your first ProXPN subscription be a masculine subscription. <laughs> Yes! 
watermark on it so we can show them how amazing it is that's so good it's pretty good <clears throat> pro xpn more like pro xp win am i right no the ad's over brian yeah all right <clears throat> sorry um i have nothing else to talk about <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what. Let's take a moment. Let's check in on the the winter movie draft. Do we have the uh, the NSFW movie draft minute? Uh, we can go ahead and and uh, and get that queued up. But uh, I'll give a little spoiler alert. Uh, is that it's spoiler? Yeah, I'm great. You stink like a pile of butts. <laughs> a butts that that just got punched. Butt punched. Right in the butt. <laughs> That's where we're punching. I'll tell you what. Uh, Gray skies are going to clear up. Punch your problems in the butt. <laughs> hey, uh, Tom, you've been an extraordinarily good sport for us, and we certainly have enjoyed oh, you rolling with everything today. Do you got something to promote? I noticed that you were reading a little book, uh, Bot Later. Is that what I saw? Uh, well, yeah, you know, that's the, that's my 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 novel, Lot, Lot Beta. That's what I was reading earlier for fun. Um, but, you know... The thing that people, if they don't know, is to watch tech news today, every day. That's the best tech news show on the internet. It's an yeah, award-winning no tech either. news show. So yeah. Sarah Lane, myself, I as actor, Jason Howell, the best guests in the world. No, I mean, I'll tell you what. Come on by. It's, uh, it's, it's absolutely, it's an indispensable part of my daily podcast listening experience. I've said it once, I've said it many times. If you were trapped on an island and you cared about technology, the only podcast that you need to listen to is uh, Tech News Today, just because every single day it brings you the news in a great and informative way. It's the best show ever. You know, I could, I could, I've been taking notes during this show, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to know what I've learned? I've learned a lot. What do you learn? Being on your show. Well, I yeah, learned that more. NSFW show is the NSA. Yeah. Um, and every time you deny it, it just makes it more true. Yep. Uh, I've learned that rappers make the best history. They do. They do. Is that right? Am I right, guys? I'll tell you what. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. That's, that's true. That's science. Uh, uh, Chuck, Chuck D said that hip-hop was the CNN of the ghetto. It's also the history channel. That's right. Yeah. It and, is now. Uh, Alfred, uh, the great eminent uh, psychologist, uh, Alfred Doggy Dog, also said that, too. Yep. Wait, Biatch. Wait. Yeah. Uh, I've learned that wisdom can be found only in the eyes of a beautiful white dog. Yes. I'll tell you what. I think we all fell in love tonight. The, the yeah. America did. Not a little bit. No. Either. A lot. Like, um, in a way that you probably, that the NSA would flag. Yeah. I think it has already. <laughs> um, I, I learned you can judge a TV network by how it treats its news. Mm-hmm. And what it does with those reporters. <laughs> and I learned that Santa is drunk and needs to go home. He's dumb. By the way, we're moving up the charts there. Uh, go home, Santa, you're drunk. Now, 37 in the holiday uh, category. So go ahead and, uh, and and keep on buying it on Kindle. Go to GoHomeSanta.com if you want the full audio book. And let me just say this, and, and I'm so happy that people agree with me uh, now that people have gotten a chance to listen to the full jazz audio score of uh, Go Home Santa Your Drunks audio book made by Andrew Allen. Uh, I love it, uh, and I, I'm really glad that people have, have checked it out. If you like this show, you will very much like the book. This is actually... I don't know if I could be more scared or more physically aroused <laughs> at the same time. This is my spirit animal. <laughs> <laughs> that dog's so awesome. Uh, man, I guess, uh, do, do we have a movie draft minute? Or yeah, we do. Here, here we go. Here's the okay. movie draft minute. 
Welcome to your Movie Draft Minute for the week of December 2nd, 2013. I'm your host, Roberto Viegas. The winds of change have finally arrived, and we have a new first place contestant. Let's go check out the scoreboard. Brian Brush is in sixth place with $68.5 million. Tom Merritt's in fifth place with $123 million. Jeff Kana is in fourth place with $127.8 million. Padre Balasar is in third place with Frozen bringing in $96.3 million, like bringing his total to $283.5 million. Casey McKinnon falls to second place with Old Boy bringing in $1.3 million league, bringing her total to $371.3 million. And in first place with a whopping $398.5 million, it's Justin Robert Young. And that is your Movie Draft Minute for the week of December 2nd, 2013. I'm back. That's uh, dude. I'm, I ain't gonna lie. You got every probability of locking this in. The only, I guess, it's what you and Father Robert. Those are the only people who have a chance, right? Uh, I think Casey, because because gravity over overperformed. Uh, Casey's got a shot. Right but on. She needs another surprise. She's she needs another out outside the box. Uh, it's too late for an October surprise, though. It is too late for an October surprise. And I'm glad that I'm going to win the fully legitimate and equal to the summer movie draft. <laughs> the, what did you, you called it the, like the Puerto Rican League? Or, or What? Yeah, no, you yeah. were. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think every, he, every time you didn't I even call it the winter winter draft, you, you didn't were, even call it the uh, Venezuelan League. Sass. No, what? Yeah. Huh? 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 Yeah. Huh? yeah. It just, uh, it just doesn't be nice. seem. It'd be nice for you to join the real winners. Uh, All right, look, uh, I say we got to wrap this thing up. Uh, do us a favor, beautiful people. Support Justin Robert Young. Head on over, pick up Go Home Sata on the... Uh, and Go Home Sata is like my... It's about a drive that I want out of my 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 computer. I'm like, up, your, your serial interface needs to go. I'm going back to parallel ATA. Go Home Sata on Kindle. Uh, so there we go. Go Home Santa.com. Uh, Tom, where can they find you? They can find me at TomMerritt.com. That's where I put up all my shows. Here we go. Brian, I feel like uh, we've come to the end of an amazing show. This was, uh, I'm not going to lie, Justin, every so often, I, we still haven't cracked the code. We're creeping up on 200 episodes of this show. We don't know We're what well the We're well past 200 are. episodes of this show. Oh, I'm thinking of frame rate. Frame rate, we just passed 150. There's a lot of shows. Doing a lot of shows. <laughs> I'm just a guy on vacation in Los Angeles, man. Don't don't be. Do, uh, yeah. They'll be giving me a hard time. I'm gonna go read the book. Go home, Brian. You're drunk. Brian, we still aren't trying to crack the code. We don't know whether or not this is NSFW or frame rate. We literally have no idea. We gotta stop the lies and realize. I'm out of here. Yeah. Love you guys, man. Die in a fire. See you next Tuesday. Or will you? Brian Brushwood. Oh, I'd oh rather God. be dipped in honey and fed. So majestic. Then do it out <laughs> just to Robert Young for a little while. Oh, NSFW. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking into my soul. Oh, wow. Can, can you do the head shake? Do, do the head shake.